Ho, ho, ho! Welcome, guys. Welcome back to Ana Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. And in particular, in this special Christmas episode, we're going to take a look at the top five jazz albums for Christmas, for our holidays. Let's get to it. Okay guys, as you can imagine, there are dozens and dozens of jazz Christmas albums. This is very difficult. I wanted to go more towards the classic jazz albums, those that you want to put during the holidays while you're unwrapping your presents, where you have parents or your, your, your child running around, your, your kids, you're, you're eating your Christmas turkey, cake, whatever, wherever you are. I think it's a special moment and you do need the correct type of music. In fact, I want to suggest you the top five according to me, obviously, not uh, objective uh, overall classic albums for, for jazz in, in Christmas times, but I think these are very cool. Let's start off in position number five all the way up to the top one in number one. It is uh, 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 top five, actually. Okay, first album. The Count Basie Orchestra. Now, pay attention. This does not have Count Basie, unfortunately. This was the evolution of his orchestra. In fact, this is a recent release. This is 2015. But it does have that special atmosphere, that special, I would say, it is a big band. First of all, it's important to make clear, it's a big band orchestra. So. The, the, the music is not going to be intimate, it's not going to be something typical you want for a, a Christmas environment. But I still wanted to put this because it's very fun, it's very Christmassy after all, even though it's a full big dynamic sound as you can imagine. So I think that even the choice of the songs is very nice and this is why I decided to put this in position number five. Let's proceed. Position number four. My cat is going all over the place, so maybe you're gonna see him pass at a certain point. Position number four. Actually, another recent release, but again, connected to the classic part, classic era of jazz. What am I talking about? The Christmas album by Oscar Peterson. This is a 1995 release, as you can see on Telarc. All of these are gonna be on CDs because I like to have them and pop them quickly in my uh, player when I have people around, when we're talking about Christmas, when there's something going on for Christmas. I don't want to put a vinyl, I don't want to put tape. It has to be fast and it has to be reliable and I can go out and about and do other, other things. That's why I, I have them all on CDs. But all these are also available on vinyl if you want. Okay, so this is a, a, a decent, nice album, a jazz album of as one of the best pianists ever uh, that we ever had, we could say for jazz, although this is uh, the final phase of his work. He had a bad stroke and he was recovering actually, but he's still an excellent pianist. And this, this album, I must say, has that his magical touch and that is why I wanted to include it in the top five jazz albums. We're talking about albums, okay guys? I want to make this clear. There are a lot of compilations. There are, there are dozens of excellent compilations. But we want to focus on albums, which I think have a little special, we could say, umph concept behind it, which I think it, may, it makes them special. That's why I prefer doing albums. Otherwise, you can go for, just pick any kind of, of a compilation, Christmas jazz compilation, and obviously you're going to have an excellent product in your hand but try to get the classic artists, not just something random made today. Okay, let's proceed. Position number three. Now we start with our classics. A Swinging Christmas. Now this is a vocal jazz album by the mythical, we could say, Ella Fitzgerald. But this is a classic album, I must say, that I had to put in this uh, top five. This is a 1960 release, so we're really in that fantastic phase. And it's packed jam with classic songs. 
this case more similar to what you really usually listen perhaps that's what I did when I was a kid as you know my, my mother is American so I have uh, this environment even in Italy the, these these little songs of Frosty the Snowman of Santa Claus coming to town and all those things you already perfectly know if you're in the US and some of those are here but with a magic touch by Ella which makes everything amazing and fantastic and as you can imagine uh, it, it's all jazzy not just typical pop songs okay let's proceed again we're in the 60s actually here we are in 1961 a great album regardless if it's Christmas or not the Ramsey Lewis trio sound of Christmas oh yes baby this is a fantastic album there are this is a great trio as I said regardless if you're gonna use this for Christmas or not and it does have that special Christmas twist in these jazz gigs I think it's fantastic and um uh, you 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 barely understand almost if you don't pay attention that these are Christmas tunes that it's so um, fresh and, and they, they build up different uh, constructions on the melodies it's I mean it, I think it's it's really really a great album and you won't regret it if you get this is absolutely starting to be one of the best of the best okay I'm I'm already happy with showing you this but in number one position a lot of you people already know this album even in this case regardless if it's if it's on the 15th of August or the 25th of December go out and get this album if you don't know it a Charlie Brown's Christmas by Vince Guaraldi I want to say it in his Italian terms since he has Italian origins and uh, this is back practically the soundtrack of uh, a cartoon with, designed by Charles Schultz with Peanuts with the, the, the character of Peanuts but the music come from this uh, fantastic composer Vince Guaraldi and <clears throat> again this is a 1965 I think yes release which is truly phenomenal uh, you guys if you never heard about this I would suggest to get this in fact I have a copy actually on vinyl of this album because it is very 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 good also the dynamics the quality I mean it's not just a simple Christmas album is is pure art I would say okay uh, I want to give you two little bonuses although we we finished our top five I want just to suggest a, a compilation also even though it's out of our top five for, for example this one the Jazz Cafe Christmas I think it's it's nice I mean if you just won't want always the same old albums but just something a little more random here you have very famous artists like Dexter Gordon Tony Braxton Charlie Bird Coleman Hawkins uh, Chet Baker Bill Evans I mean a lot of cool guys so this is a nice bonus album and another one I wanted to suggest I only have it in streaming but I'll show you a picture here the Christmas songs album by Diana Krall very good very nice it's a recent release but it's a very very high quality high fidelity album and her voice is magical okay guys I hope you enjoyed this video and remember even during Christmas music was born analog Merry Christmas Buon Natale ciao well guys if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.